over an hour, the Hillsborough County School District will hold the first of several meetings on proposed boundary changes for county schools. Parents will then get a better idea of how school boundary changes could affect their children. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino is live at Middleton High School with the very latest. Melissa. Well, hey, good afternoon. This is one of two schools where the meetings are being held this evening from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Both the same format. They are going to answer questions for parents, give them more information, and we expect a lot of parents to show up to these meetings as a lot of parents are expressing concern and frustration over these plans. We just moved to the community of South Tampa about five months ago from New York. Brian Maine did a lot of research on potential school districts before buying his new home. He chose this home in Beach Park based on his daughters being able to attend Plant High School. He just learned that might change. It's like, bam, we're going to draw a line right through your community and split Beach Park in half and send half the kids to one high school and half the kids to another high school. He's one of a number of parents upset. The district's proposed changes would rezone as many as 24,000 students. The district is considering three options to better use underutilized schools and relieve the burden on schools the district thinks are too busy. This week, the district is holding a series of meetings to give parents more information and a chance to weigh in. This phase two of this process is all about seeking community input. We know that this is uh, there's some very difficult decisions and scenarios have been put in front of our community and the school district. Parents like Maine looking for answers. He worries this could have a negative impact on the education his daughters receive. There's so many questions in our minds. A total of 10 meetings are going to be held throughout the week for parents to attend. The superintendent said if you're a parent, you have concerns and you cannot attend one of these meetings, he's urging you to go online and submit feedback there. He tells me he expects to make a recommendation by the end of February for school board members to then consider. Reporting live, I'm Melissa Marino, 8 on your side.